Welcome to Hamshack Reviews. My name is Vince, and today I'm going to do a video on how to make an 80 meter sky loop. Now, to start out with, there's two ways to feed it you can feed it with ladder line, or you can feed it with a 4 to 1 balance. 4 to 1 balance. Whichever way you pick, you're going to need one of them, either the balance or the ladder line. You're going to need at least 300 feet of antenna wire, and you're going to need at least four of these. You definitely need four for the four corners, but you may be able to get a couple more to pull the middles out a little bit to give you more of a circular shape. Now we're going to jump over to the computer to do some calculating. Okay, to get started, I'm going to ask you to please forgive my messy writing. I'm actually trying to write with the mouse, and it's, it's a little hard. For a sky loop, the number you need to remember is 1,005. Now, this is how you calculate cutting the length of wire. What you're going to do is you're going to divide 1.5 by the desired frequency. Let's say we're going to do 3.8. And then we're going to put equals. And that comes out to 264 feet, 0.5 inches. We're going to leave it a little longer so you can trim it to length when you're tuning it. So let's leave it at 266 feet. Now what you're going to do is you're going to divide 266 by 4. This will give you the four equal sides of just over 66.1 feet. Now you're going to start with your four supports as high as possible. Hopefully at least 35 feet. Now, they could be poles, push-up towers, trees, regular towers. I guess one corner could even be the side of your house. And then you're going to run out your wire with each side being 66.1 feet. Or 66 feet because we're going to end up trimming it a little. You will have your four pieces of rope holding it up in the air. And then when you feed it, now you got your two choices. You can either run your ladder line down to your transceiver and you don't need to tune it your antenna tuner would do the tuning or you could put a ballon a 4 to 1 ballon and run your coax down then you're going to have to put an antenna analyzer here and tune it till you get your lowest SWR at your 3.8 once that is done you can take the antenna analyzer off connect it to your transceiver and you're good to go this is a fantastic antenna. I've worked about 150 countries on it. And that number is growing, especially now that propagation is getting better. If you've got the room, I highly suggest it because it's got a, a 1 to 3 S unit drop in the noise floor. It's a very quiet operating antenna. So I hope you found this helpful. I hope it gave you an idea of another antenna to build. Remember to subscribe, ding that bell and 73s.